Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about various forms of pull-ups. In the last class we have seen that in an NMOS inverter topic, when resistor is using as a pull-up device, it occupies more area even if you want to fabricate <coughs> small values of resistors and the output is never going to be reach zero because if V in is equals to 1 there is a static current flow from VDT to VSS the output never reaches to zero and here the load capacitor never discharges fully is it clear and there is a static current flow because the way there is a path from VDT to VSS is it understood now you can observe very clearly here when you are going to change the pull-up device from resistor to NMOS depletion mode transistor. Now what is happening you may observe, yeah absolutely, you can clearly tell that while using depletion mode NMOS as a pull-up device, the first drawback is going to be overcome what is the first drawback guys absolutely okay uh, in the previous one we seen that even small values of resistor will occupy more area while fabricating that drawback we can easily overcome but when v in is equals to one uh, once again there is a static current flow from vdt to vss because this pull-up device is always in which condition on condition since it is a depletion mode nmos transistor the gate is connected to source don't be confused that the gate you can also be connect like this is it understood all of you okay now you can observe that here okay the output is never reaching to zero you can clearly observe is the output is reaching to zero no the output is never reaching to zero this is major drawback and uh, there is a static current flow that drawback is going to be continue but uh, it takes uh, less area instead of fabricating uh, uh, instead of fabricating resistor if you fabricate nmos depletion mode transistor it will occupy less area that is the advantage present in this one you can observe very clearly but while coming to this one okay to overcome the another true drawbacks if you observe that here okay if you use nmos enhancement mode as a pull up if you use nmos enhancement mode as a pull up here you can observe that this one nmos enhancement mode as a pull up that's why the gate is connected to whom VDD. Is it clear all of you? Now you can observe very clearly here also the output is never reaches to zero. Why? Because when the gate is connected to VDD, this is always in on condition. Once again, there is a static current flow from VDD to VSS. Therefore, this is also not a suitable okay form of pull up now you can observe one more form of pull up here if you observe that depletion mode nmos is completed enhancement mode nmos is completed now i will talk about depletion mode pmos and depletion mode nmos right now you may observe that i am going to discuss about a depletion mode pmos here here if you observe that since it is a depletion mode pmos gate and source is shorted together here you can observe that when the gate and source is shorted together even though okay gate source is shorted together since it is a depletion mode pmos it is always in which condition on condition here also if you observe that when v in is equals to one since pull up and pull down transistor both are in on condition there is a static current flow from vdd to vss and the output never reaches to zero that means it is also not overcoming the two drawbacks present here is it clear all of you now we may observe that one more chance we are having what is that enhancement mode pmos transistor is it clear now you can observe that enhancement mode PMOS transistor if you observe that since it is enhancement mode PMOS transistor the gate should be connected towards zero therefore I have connected the gate to zero that means VSS now you can observe that when the gate is connected to VSS this pull up device that means enhancement mode PMOS transistor is also in which condition always in on condition okay when V in is equals to one then there is a huge problem once again what is that problem guys there is a static current flow from VDD to VSS which leads to okay high power consumption and also the output never reaches to zero that means we tried all the possibilities of uh, pull-up devices but if you look out here if you make arrangement okay in this fashion that means uh, instead of uh, connecting this gate to VSS if you make an arrangement that means if you tied the gate terminal of pull up and the gate terminal of pull down and a common input is given then you can observe what will happen is it clear you can clearly observe what will happen yeah now you can observe that 
here the gate terminal of both the pull up and pull down devices are tied together and a common input is given now you can observe what will happen when v in is equals to zero okay only this device will be on this device is in off condition therefore the capacitor the load capacitor okay charges is it clear the load capacitor is charges is it okay the load capacitor is charges okay now if you observe the opposite condition exactly when v in is equals to 1 what will happen if you observe that this pull up is in off condition and this pull down is in on condition therefore the capacitor load capacitor discharges is it understood therefore it is very clear from this structure okay you may observe very clearly that there is no static current flow why because for uh, v in is equals to 0 only one transistor is in on condition okay and another transistor is in off condition when v in is equals to 1 okay only one transistor is in on condition and another transistor is in off condition is it clear therefore you can clearly tell that this is a very good arrangement for various forms of pull-ups and you may observe that since one transistor is acting as a complement of other therefore you can call it as a complementary transistor is it clear and you can observe the transfer characteristics of it the output is reaching to zero and there is no static current flow therefore the CMOS that is complementary mass okay will have a full swing logic and also you can observe very clearly there is no static current flow therefore it will consider low power consumption device is it clear this is the topic for today's that is other forms of pull-ups is it clear if you are having any queries please comment thank you very much have a nice day